Hello friends, it's I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it's time for more of this video game that I can't seem to quite finish. I think I'm just going to dive right in where we left off and see what I can achieve. But uh, who knows what that will be, because when I decided to stream today, I was feeling a lot more awake than I currently am right now, which is to say none awake. But uh, if I remember correctly, I've got a ghost to fight, um, which is generally not what I try and go for on my channel. We, uh... Oh, that's a funny thought. I'm actually going to be in Glasgow next month, hopefully, for one night to see a gig. Unless terrible things happen. Oh boy, is my controller broken? Uh... Well, I mean, it is, but is it broken enough to cause problems playing this? I'm not sure. I've been struggling with it literally all week while playing other controller-based games. The The D-pad has, like, lost its, like, positionality? I don't know what else you'd call it. So that when it's in the neutral position, it sort of leans slightly to one side or the other, which means that very often characters will start to run in one direction or another whether I want them to or not, which makes it very hard to dodge attacks without accidentally running into something else. Many, many, many rogue legacy deaths could have been avoided if I simply could find the, the good Xbox controller that I want, and not all the bad Xbox controllers that I don't like. And depending on how my weekend works out, I may or may not be able to come visit. And also depending on whether or not you are willing, and your household are willing, to do COVID tests before I go there, because goddamn, I ain't risking COVID for anyone. Uh, not even... Wait, did that button just not work? Okay. Perhaps playing a different 2D combat platformer all day right before playing this one wasn't the wisest decision I could possibly have made. Aha! Here we go. This is going to take a little while. What even are the controls to this game? Why is that thing? B is magic spells. X is attack. Yeah, I should be fine. This, sh this shouldn't be a problem. I do understand the desire to have a little bit of a walk between where you are and where you need to go between, like, save points and bosses. Like, I understand the validity of that idea. I understand the benefits it brings. But when I have to try a boss over and over, I kind of really want it to just be, like, three steps.
might need to go for some more defensive armory options. Anyway, I'm not not thinking about it, I'm just thinking harder about not dying to this boss. I have to be quiet when I fight bosses, otherwise I forget what I'm doing and die. Many times. But self-critical automaton, you're dying many times anyway. Ah, you see, that is because... I'm bad at video games. Yeah, I think a defensive item and aggression might be where it's at. What have I got equipped currently? Because he's never ever going to give me the time to heal, so I shouldn't bother trying to heal. Uh, let's see, I don't need the swarm. I don't need wayward compass. I might be able to drop the mark of pride down to the longer nail. Uh, dash master I want to keep. Quick slash is going to be incredibly useful, and steady body I find useful. So I can save two or three pegs to apply to these things. Hmm. Carefree Melody might protect the bearer for damage, that could be good. Dream Shield doesn't actually block anything. It's kind of, kind of confusingly named, because it sounds like it'll protect you from damage, but what it actually does is it circles around you and damages other things. It's kind of Kind of backwards. Dream wielder, we're not. No, nope. Weaver Song. Dunno. I heard that was busted in early versions of the game, but I'm not sure. Nail arts, I don't use. Hmm. Hive Blood's tempting, but the amount of health you gain is. Like, the, the speed at which you regain health is so low. Thorns of Agony's tempting, but it's only a tiny bit of extra DPS. Quick focus might might let me heal in time. I should experiment. I'm I'm definitely gonna try some of these. Am I forgetting where the thingamajig is? I bet I am. Yeah, I went straight past it. Try with the defense boosty thingy first. I think I think speed and aggression is the key to this one because he leaves himself really open. Ah, oh, motherfucker! Just drive, drive headfirst into the spikes. It's fine. Who cares? Didn't protect me from that one, did it? It's a shame there's no music down here. In the uh, abyssal basin, the primordial hole, the deepest, darkest zone. God's own tar pit.
This guy definitely feels the most beatable of the dream bosses I've found so far. I can't even remember which of the other ones I tried. I tried. I think I tried the the dung dung knight, the dung beetle knight, and I tried the uh, the false knight. But there might have been another one, and I know there's a few more of them floating around the game world. Talk shit, get hit, dude. Alright, how much do I actually earn from that? Cool, cool, cool. I gained... an amount... Would have been, I think I had 1400 before, that can't be right. It must have, it must have been more. How many did I gain? <gasps> I have no idea. I think I need 1800 to reach the final boss. I'm not sure. Can I fight him again? Can I just do this over and over? Nah, he's gone. Okay, right. I think I might try the Dung Beetle Knight again next. Since I know where he is. And I know he should be a pushover to my amazing gamer skills. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it was at this moment that I realized I fucked up. Now, if I time this incredibly carefully, I won't slam myself head, head first at 60 miles an hour into a large pile of um, chitinous spikes. I failed to do so. Right, where are we? We are here. And we want to go here. That's probably easiest just to go there manually rather than to try and take a shortcut. Oh, I should have put my map checky thingy back in. Commentary, commentary would be good. Unfortunately, the problem with commentary is that I've played this game so much now that I've run out of things to say about it that I haven't said a hundred times before. Like, ooh, isn't it pretty? Or, ooh, doesn't it exactly ape Dark Souls to a really remarkable degree? Or, whatever. But today, the real problem I'm having is that I've had, like, this weird migrainey headache zone all day long. Or well, for most of the day. I'm actually starting to suspect it's to do with air pressure. Whenever it's really, really windy, and it gets really windy in Aberdeen, like, really windy, I start to get these, like, weird... It's not even like a headache, really. It's like a weird pressure feeling in my skull. So I, I wonder if it's something to do with the air pressure affecting my internal systems. You know, the solar winds outside my, my satellite home in which I dwell, of course. Uh, gotta maintain kayfabe. Where is it? Kafabe? Kayfabe? Kafabe. Oh. 
Anyway, yes, when the uh, solar winds outside get a little bit too... a little bit too strong and heavy. My, uh... CPU case gets all, all all stuffy and weird and terrible. This guy's unusual in that he ain't dead. So you can fight a corpse's dreams or you can fight a living person's dreams, and there's not much of a difference between the options. <laughs> I think he might be very definitely not a pushover. Did I say he was a pushover? Get wrecked, me. Good lord. At least this guy, I don't have to do a jumping puzzle before every time I fight him. The only way to dodge that spikes attack is is with the shadow dodge. I'm also not sure when the safe windows to hit him are, if any. This one gives me enough to break the final barrier. I'm not sure I want to fight three of these ghosts. Or brain brain ghosts? Is a is a is a sad memory a brain ghost? I think that's I think that's a reasonable metaphor. It's possible to keep him juggled permanently. Closer than I usually manage. I don't. I don't think I want to try the sad. The sad ghosts. It's the sad ghosts. Swedish meatballs. I mean, it looks like ba even back in his glory days, where he walked amongst the halls of the mighty, and was a member of this five-man band of legendary heroes whose glowing statues dwell in the background. Even then, he did have his he did have his his scat fetish going on. Like that's clearly not a new feature for him. actual stats are on that defensive charm because it's really helpful but I have no idea what the actual percentages are Come on, 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 come on,
That was close. Oh god, second phase? having so much fun, he has no idea how much of an irritation he is to me. It's like having that one loud, boisterous friend at the pub, who has no idea how irritating and tedious he is. I would imagine. As a satellite dweller, I have few friends. <laughs> question about this fellow, to be honest. Because most people would consider a statue carved from you from shit to be offensive or rude in some way. But it's clearly a big part of this guy's culture, you know. You just kind of got to accept that he means it well. <laughs> It is kind of funny that the most kind of like knightly valor um, guy with the most, most kind of like noble, glorious presentation in his music, in his style, he's very much the the archetype of the of the doughty knight. Um, he's very much themed around foul turds. A meta commentary, perhaps, on the uh, underlying uh, disingenuity of knightly codes of conduct. Almost certainly not. I think they just thought it was funny. me that even this guy isn't an original feature. Much like so many other things that I've pointed out as being direct parallels to Dark Souls, big guy who throws shit on you is... That's a Dark Souls, baby! It's Dark Souls all the way down. It was two or three streams ago I had that revelation where I realized that it wasn't just similar to Dark Souls. Almost every kind of like thematic and literal component of that, of that game is kind of directly replicated.
He's almost impossible to dodge when he starts diving. I was getting better at him step by step for a little while. Now I seem to have sort of stabilized. <laughs> I've, I've only seen stage two once. This is terrible. Should I be playing more defensively or less defensively? That's the real question. Or maybe I should equip the dream shield and rely on like passive damage instead of trying to actually fight him. Because if you if you if you zone him right, you can get a few good hits in without much risk when he is throwing them in succession. If you jump in and out of range. Problem is that I am just slowing the fuck down. You know what, no matter what else I say about him, at least, at least he's warm. Okay, there's definitely two windows I can use to heal then. One is if I dodge through that early. And I can't remember what the other one was. Oh boy. <laughs> 
He does sound Swedish, actually, now that you... Now that I think about it. You might be onto something, gamers. Woof. That's two down. Haribo. The dramatic last phrase. It's interesting that me defeating him destroys his vision of his friends. I suppose his dream is that he's still capable of protecting this beautiful realm, and that by beating him in his dream, I disabuse him of that notion, and so his, his beautiful vision disappears, including his memory of his friends. Probably should have read that out, but whatever. Ooh, that's more than 1800. I might be able to go do it now. Or I may need to fight one more of these guys. I can't remember if it was 1800 or 2000 that I needed. Right, okay. I need to go up here. So it's basically just straight up from where I am, so that's fine. Whoopsie daisy. And then, at long last, I should be granted access to the real final boss. Yeah, several of the dream bosses uh, you can fight multiple times, not just not just once. But they get harder every time. But um, I was tempted to say during that last fight, but like I could tell I had the whoops, I could tell I had a I had the measure of him in that one. Like as soon as I made it to phase two, I was like, oh okay, he's gonna die this time. Haha, <laughs> die and explode. Let's see. So I need to get Yeah, I'm in I'm in here now. And I need to go up here. I do find the endless chanting of the soldiers to be kind of funny. <laughs> Like, obviously, there's supposed to be an element of tragedy to the idea of all of these people just infinitely squatting in their in the squalor of their fallen glory. But it is kind of funny. Okay, I think I've gone up too high. I need to go down one. Hello, acrylic spatter. Well, for once, I can actually take the lift, because I'm not sneaking out the side to go fight in the arena. Although, now that I think about it, I don't think I ever beat the final arena battle, which means I probably should go and do that at some point. You good, buddy? Sounds like me half the time, with my terrible damaged lungs.
Hello, ghost moth. Can I have treasure, please? Ah, wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Yes, I thought so. More than 1,500 essence. The dream nail is close. So close to fully awakening. The point grinding is going well enough that I believe I have now got enough to do the thing. Um, I beat two ghost bosses. Continue on your path, wielder. I know not what guides you, nor what will drive you forward. That's not what she said, but whatever. Once you have collected 1,800 essence, I will be here waiting. Take this gift. Hmm. There's at least more, one more mask segment out there for me to find, then. Yes, the time has come. The dream nail, and you as well, wielder. It's time for you both to awaken. The essence you have collected, the hope that still remains in this old kingdom. Pure potential. Let it course through you and into the dream nail. Hold it aloft, wielder, and awaken. It can break into even the most protected mind. No dream can hide itself from you now. You can peer into the darkest places. You just need to find the right crack. Advice I'm often given. What will you do with such a power wielder? Whose memories will you hunt down? Do as you wish. My promise is fulfilled. May the crimes of my tribe be washed away in time, like the rest of the kingdoms. The dream nail's fully awoken, and yet you still collect essence. Perhaps I've instilled an obsession in you. Keep at it, then. I'm happy to wait and watch your progress. Once you've collected 2,400 essence, return to me. I've no more gifts to give, but you'll prove yourself the wielder my tribe awaited. I wonder what that means. The kingdom is full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, and gather essence. Maybe she maybe she gives me like a, an achievement or something. There were several people whose minds I couldn't dream nail in the past, so I suppose I can dream nail now the the wiggly guy the big white grub who's not a white worm because the white worm is the ancient god of this world that granted granted royalty to the first king or possibly was the first king it's unclear there's a couple of other big important wiggly guys around whose brains i couldn't access but i'm not gonna go hunting for them because i'm gonna go here to the palace grounds and crack open the old king Wait, where the fuck am I? I'm yeah, I'm here, so I need to go here. Okay, that's fine. Oh wait, that's not that's not where I wanted to go. Swiss so imperious. Come help me, bug man. Here we are at long last. Finally, finally, I can pop this bubble and find out what's inside. I have accidentally spoiled myself on the fact that this is not the king. This is one of the king's, like, personal bodyguard. He just looks like the king because he's the king's personal bodyguard, so he's got that big pointy crown on. Haha, <laughs> get dreambladed, idiot. Oh, I'm just not on the map. Do I not get a map of this new zone? Sure is Anor Londo up in here. Oh god, I said it earlier, but like, man, it really is just... Ow, bud. 
Jesus. These guys hit like dump trucks. Oh my god, they can throw at angles. Oh, it's gonna be like that, is it? <laughs> I thought that as a dream zone, I wouldn't get sent back all the way. I thought I would only get sent back to where I entered the dream. That's what the other dream zones did. He's a spicy fellow. Is there not a... there's no... No, there, it says there is. There's, there's a bench here, right? Where's my bench? Aha! Spider people with their alternate designs for stations. Alright, let's be having him. Let's try this again. Because it's not, I didn't leave a ghost, so it behaved, it behaved in the manner that all the other dreams are, dream places in people's brains have done. Exploded. Good for him. There's a sort of a black stuff that comes out of him. That seems more like what I am than what most people are. More like the shells, the vessels. I think they were. The, I think vessel-related things were the only things that explode into into black stuff, rather than magic sorceress guys. Will I? Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a death hole that you die in. Sorceress guys have white stuff that comes out of them. Uh, let's not read into that anything. And infected guys have orange stuff that comes out, so... Really, your kind of, like, thematic allegiance in this world depends on what kind of slimes ooze out of you. Yet another very pretty location, just as all of the... Hollow Knight locations are unreasonably pretty as I hurl myself into the void because my broken controller won't accept a neutral position half the time. Lapel du vide? No, it's more like kind of a mandatory vide. Good sound design on these guys though, they feel very satisfying to hit. Also a much more kind of like natural floral motif here than in most of the other places we've visited so far. Even the the green uh, the green path and the other green zones didn't really have this much of a kind of a, a natural natural form to its artifice because of course some of this stuff is alive and some of it isn't there's a lot of carvings carved to look natural but if, obviously the appearance of nature is not itself natural when it is artificial a lesson i learned as a i was gonna say small child but really more of a medium-sized child visiting the uh the big ecology centre in, in England, the name of which I have now forgotten, uh, where they had a bunch of big geodesic domes and like preserved, no, not preserved, constructed ecosystems. Whoop. 
the Eden Project, maybe, where they had a, a sort of a walkthrough of a, of a, of a fake jungle, which featured uh, a pair of statues, one which held a bunch of natural-looking objects and one which held a bunch of artificial objects. And one was labelled nature and one was labelled artifice, but of course, <laughs> both are artifice. Because they were both fiberglass statues, regardless of how like noble and uh, ecological their purpose may have been. Hidden secret, hidden secret SCA play law unlocked. Yes, I was always like this. Woo. Okay, I guess that's like a shortcut. What's this, though? Okay, that, that did nothing. That put the lights on. <laughs> There's a nice little detail that these objects in the background have dust sheets on them. Nowhere else, nowhere else in this world have we seen stuff that appears to have attempt been to, uh, like, uh, ha that has had a preservation attempt. Everywhere else in the world, what we see is an implication of a sudden death. Everywhere else in the world we see things that have been... that have fallen as they were, you know. Mary Celeste-like, been found abandoned. As if whatever befell them happened abruptly, or so slowly that no one noticed. Rather than it happening... with slow enough an approach that people could think to fill their wardrobes with mothballs. You know, to keep the moth tribe out, because, you know, they're dream psychics, you don't want them rummaging in your stuff. <laughs> and put down dust sheets. Okay, well that doesn't super help. Where am I supposed to go next? I switched on a big light bulb. Which does not appear to have unlocked a further location to the right, as far as I can see. Oh, wait, hang on. What if I fly? Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> What's the point in having a, a Dragon Ball Z-style infinite flight ability um, if zooming off into the endless dreamscape uh, merely causes me to run into a cloud that behaves much like a solid wall? Hmm? Riddle me this, philosophers. Aha, this is open now. Did this elevator platform just come? Is one of the... Is that normal for elevators? The real question is, is the Otis safety elevator some kind of oxen of the elevator species? This is going to sound like nonsense to a lot of people. Oh hell yeah, mysterious chanting. Ah, fine. About time. You know what? Like, about time. I've been waiting for the respect I am owed from these assholes ever since I got here. But no, it's baffinada this and hoo 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 that and let me hit you with sticks and throw rocks at you. Yeah, hell yeah. You know it. What's up? Still bound to me? Yeah, cool. That's right. That's the correct behavior. Nice. Okay, there's a door there. So where does the other way go? Okay, that's locked. That's another one of these jizz lifts. Aha! Resting spot. And a locked thingamajig. Wait, an exit? Oh, wait, is this the same zone again? Did it take me to exactly the same place, except this time... Or I guess, I guess it just has different sequential exits. Isn't this where I came in? 
Or did I come in on the level above where the exit icon was? Hmm, there's got to be a way through that. My secret hunter knows, says I'm on the way to find something. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I believe I found a secret, immediately headbutts a circular saw. This is the manner in which we discover esoteric knowledge. Immediately stubs toe on nail gun. Wait, yeah, mate. Okay, that might be it. <laughs> if I die here, I'll come back later. Haha! <laughs> I have solved your circular source puzzle. <laughs> Boom, right between the eyes. Okay. I think I'll finish exploring the non-circular saws area first. So did I emerge... Did I emerge from here? And if I go out of here, will it take me back? The lack of a map for this zone is really... Oh no, okay, I came from here. So this is the, this is the previous elevator. And I can go to the circular saws zone here. Or I can continue climbing and see what else there is. That's locked from above, so presumably right relates to wherever I'll be going next from the next elevator, or there's a route here somewhere that goes over and, at over and atop. And the other way to go is over here, so I can either go to the circular saws zone or I can go in here and see what's in here. Which is another one of those lights, but it's locked. I wonder if these are some kind of like symbolic divine lantern that's the source of consciousness in this world or in this society. We know that the white worm brought- oh fuck. Brought consciousness to the people of this world. The bug people. Which are, as far as we know, the only- oh fuck off. This one might be tough. You know, I think we should actually in install um, large, esoterically powered circular saws in the real world royal family's home. Like, I'm not saying I think they should all be killed by circular saws, but I am saying that they should probably have to work a little harder just to get to the living room. Living room 1 of 15. It's hard to imagine them all just sitting around and watching TV. <laughs> Woof. Did it. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, it's safer just to do that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. The little, the little bird things taking off as we head out here, that's nice. Is this a vision? Is this a vision of what this place used to be like in its prime? Or is this genuinely the... The heights of this, of this society... As transposed into... Into the dream world. 
Or is that a foolish question to even ask? Okay, I can't see any way to get through this bit, actually. It's probably got something to do with this running. Oh wait, there's a little hole. Aha! Um, well, this looks difficult. Ah, fuck. Whew. These are like the worst Super Mario levels. The ones I could never stand and that I would never bother to find all the secrets on. You know, the ones in the Super Mario World games. Although there might have been a couple in the mainline Super Ma Super's Mario. That was alright though. Okay, I think. Yeah, I saw the other side of the bottom end of here. I don't know if it let me go anywhere, but <laughs> I'm not taking the risk. Oh god, there's more. I guess you could say I'm starting to feel a little sore. Oh god, they're on a different tempo. That's horrifying. I have no idea if I'm missing tons of secrets in these rooms just because... You know. How the fuck did you get here? You guys don't even have double jump. I was hoping that would shut down all the saws, but it didn't. Did, however, open this, which is fine, I guess. I'm not- I'm not gonna go looking. I'm, I'll look up and see if I missed anything in this zone and then maybe come back for it in between streams. That's still locked, so I guess I have to do the other side as well. So does that mean that vessels occupied some kind of privileged place in a society, or at least a position of respect? Because they were, they were all, they were all cast out and sent out into the far off wide world, right? Ah, almost had me there. Had me there. What's in the extra hard saw map that I might miss if I don't do the extra hard saw map? Oh, but I like QC cutscenes. I've missed like two thirds of the story content in this game just by being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, no, that's fair. I've, I'm very invested in this game, but 
I'm ready to be done with it. You know, I've nearly 100%ed it. I know you can get up to like 110% by doing all the uh, expansions, but like... I've done I've done the story expansion. Like the only remaining expansions that I haven't done are mostly content for hardcore people. Well, I mean I'm a hardcore gamer. Let's be honest, I I'm a hardcore gamer. But for like hardcore fans of this game specifically, and I like this game a lot. I think it's very good. But I'm not like I'm probably not gonna play it again. Like I think I'm gonna finish it and be done with it. Because it is good. It's very good. You know, I'd, I'd give this an 8 out of 10, easy. Not that I think numbers are a sensible way to uh, adjudicate art, really. I mean, you know, I used to read a lot of RPS back before it went to shit and turned into a, like a content, like, not clickbaity, but like a con almost a content aggregator thing where it's just tons of Tons of tons of guides and they're all written identically and there's nothing there's not very much interesting journalism that happens there anymore, unlike how they used to be. Which is a huge shame in my opinion. But um there was this there was this that whole thing they used to have back when they were a a major reporting site of just like we don't put numbers on our reviews because you should know whether the game is gonna suit you or not based on based on the review. I'm not a reviewer, but I am a critic. I, I do I do think it's legit to call myself a critic. Uh, even if my chosen medium is the Let's Play, which is possibly the stupidest possible medium to pick to, do, to use as a critic. I say as if I'm not incredibly proud of at least two of my Let's Plays. But yeah, if I was going to have to put a number on this, it'd be at least be an 8 out of 10. And uh, like 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 PC Gamer, I use the whole review scale, so, so that's pretty good, actually. Anyway, I don't, I don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> this might be it for me, lads. I'm struggling with this one. Oh, that's it. Yeah, okay, right. Back to square one, I guess. Whew. I guess square two, because I did complete the other side of the lantern. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, you know it. How you doing, guys? Good, good. Great to see you. I'll be here all week. Also, while I'm at it, for anyone who's watching who doesn't know, I have a YouTube channel where I do in-depth, well-researched Let's Plays, where I attempt to, like, blend artistic criticism into live playing of games, which is fun, and not at all a, a totally windmill-tilting thing to do. Uh, so why not give me a follow here or there? Please enjoy my content. Thank you to my Patreon patrons. Why not be one of those also? Or on Ko-fi, which is the same, except they don't charge as much fees. And that's it, that's my one call to action that I do every three streams or so. It is always funny to me how frustrated I can get at platforming puzzles. I don't play 2D platformers very often, but when I do, I like to complete them. You know, it's been a while since I played a Shovel Knight or a Super Meat Boy or whatever. But, um,. Just the muscle memory that builds up builds up for specific challenges. Like how much of my how much of my um, personal cranial hard drive is full of just how to how to complete specific jumping puzzles? Because something that takes ten tries, once it's cracked, it takes like one try afterwards. It's just in there now. Although the precision here is driving me insane. Shit. Ah, we're so close.
I guess I could see myself using this to become like an expert glass blower afterwards, right? Like, I learned to judge distances between spinning globes uh, very accurately without a measurement tool. How did you become such a skillful, skillful glass blower? Oh, you know, there was this one level of of Hollow Knight that I got really, really stuck on for a really long time. Really? What's that got to do with anything? Well, you see, I had to very neatly and evenly step between spinning, spinning discs. So I got very good at judging the relational distances of spinning discs. And so now in my job as a glass blower, where I have to spin a lot of discs and not touch them, you know, I think you can see the overlap there. And then I go on to invent a whole revolutionary, revolutionary form of new glass blower training, which I'm sure is a thing that exists. You know, they must they must learn how to do it somewhere. All right, try hard mode. I'm gonna be quiet. Motherfucker. All right, I'm gonna keep talking because because when I try and be quiet, that that clearly doesn't help. And it's perhaps actively detrimental. Fuck. Alright, that time that was my broken controller's fault. I need more Patreon patrons so that I can afford a controller that's not broken. Ah, motherfucker. This is... Okay, I've got two, try two tries left. Equipping that grub charm was a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. <sighs> that was close. Ow. Very little safety standardization in the uh, in the Lost Kingdom of Hallow Nest. You'd think they'd be required to at least put um, hazard marking down so you could see where it was safe to stand. I think someone should mod that in. I think there should be an OSHA mod for this game. It adds handrails everywhere. Purely cosmetic ones, of course. And uh, hazard markings. You could have a law-friendly one that has, like, hazard markings that are in character to the bug kingdom. Wait, that took me all the way back up here? Daisy. The section does kind of require you to have completely mastered the movement, though. Like, I can't imagine trying to do this without having done all of the other platforming that I've had to do all throughout the rest of this game and get the hang of, like, Headbutting circular saws. God. Remember all that stuff I said about how I had muscle memory now? That was clearly bullshit. This is the first- no, it's not. It's the second time I've got tilted by a platforming challenge in this game. I've just remembered the, like, Crystal Caves zone, which drove me up the wall. Oh, fuck off, that was my goddamn controller again. 
Anytime I walk backwards into something, it's my controller. Which no longer has a conception of a neutral position. What happens, like, just tell me outright what happens in the cutscene in the, in the secret map. Because I'm not, I find that I'm finding this so goddamn tedious that I'm not actually going to try and seek that out. I don't think. Wait, I can't, I can't dodge through those? What? But my dodge makes me invulnerable. It's got iframes and shit. Or did I mess it up somehow? All I can think about at times like this is the the bit in classic Star Trek movie Galaxy Quest where they have to traverse through the crusher. And they start demanding to know why anybody in, anybody installed a giant crusher in the engineering section. And the answer is, well, you had it on your TV show. So it's your fault for having bad writers. <laughs> I always thought it was a huge shame that that, um, they didn't call it the Beverly Crusher. Because I thought that would have been a, a fun way to double up on the joke, but maybe they couldn't use the specific actual Star Trek nouns. You know, like a Jeffrey's cube, you've got the Beverly Crusher. The king is being kind to the Hollow Knight or something, and it's supposed to have undertones of Ono, oh the knight has developed feelings and is impure and will get oranged. Or something like that. Okay, no, that makes sense. So it's like a memory of of the last time you saw the king, back when there was a king to see. I could see it being basically him just saying, you know... Well, sorry, kid, but I need to send all of the, all of you husks out to, I was going to say meet your maker, but he is their maker, so that doesn't quite make sense, but off to, off to go get lost in the wilds beyond the city as part of whatever strange, strange, um, Gwyn-esque goals he had for, for this world. Fwah, finally! I better not have to do that again, I swear to god. Oh, that's mean. That's rough. That's nasty. Yeesh. If I get stuck on this one now... Ooh, I'm gonna be salty. Oh, the Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight, I see. The Hollow Knight, rather than all the knights who are simply hollow, which is most of the rest of them. Oh, fuck! Jesus, goddamn. <laughs> Come on, I was touching the wall that time, that should have counted. In fairness, that one should not count. Where's the immunity to environmental damage charm when I need it? Come on. Putting this right after the other one, that's nasty. Super Meat Boy was easier than this. And that game made me go genuinely actually insane. That's why I'm like this, it's Super Meat, Boy, Super Meat Boy's fault.
Oh, I can pogo on these? I didn't think I could pogo on these. Because I can't pogo on, on uh, the spike plants. Oh, what? Wait, really? Back here? Why didn't it save me? Okay, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ollie outy. That was my trial life. <laughs> Don't give me that. You. Oh, hey. Whoa, I killed them. Whoops. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I killed those guys so hard and accidentally that I then slammed my face into a circular saw. Out of guilt? No, just clumsiness. There was a third saw. I see. Oh, I can just kill them. Cool. Suck it, I guess. Guillotines are for the petty bourgeoisie. Die on my nail. Guillotines are not actually for the petty bourgeoisie. See, that time it put me back here. Suddenly the physical logic of this one eludes me. Hey, first try. Oh my god, that's so much easier. <gasps> oh, I never would have thought to do that because uh, it, you can't usually do that on environmental hazards. You can do that on spikes, but you can't do that on... Um, you can't do that on poison water. You can't do that on. Wait, obviously you can't do that on poison water. You can't do that on um, on on the the spiky plants, the horrible horrible vines. So why would I think to do that? Ah. Okay, this one looks a little bit more manageable. Wait, was there a fucking? Oh god, there is. Does it come back or oh shit? <laughs> Motherfucker. You can do it on spiky spikes, and I have occasionally done it on spiky spikes. I just uh let's wait for it to go by and then that's gonna hit the spikes. Oh did it? no it didn't. Oh motherfucker. I'm gonna win the sweary for highest ratio of uttered motherfuckers. It's a very, very prestigious award, the sweary. What's that down there? Oh, fuck, I'm not. Is there a secret over that way? That's the real question. I can find out after I smack this thing, I think. If I go that way, it probably leads to, yeah, the drop down. Okay. Which means that I can have a look in the other thing. 
I accidentally slaughtered these guys with my sonic boom. Oh, this is just the down... <gasps> Wait, I probably could have... If I'd just gone down here, I could have bypassed that whole final spinny blade section. Right? The one up here. I could have just... I could have just gone down here. That's a mean trick. I'm right, though, right? This is the underside of the... So my left is where is the corridor I got really stuck on, and then up here is the is the spinny blades that I discovered that thanks to you I discovered I could do the do pogoing on. I could have just come down here the whole time. Shortcut for people who can use their brains, I guess. Unfortunately, all I have is a mid-tier CPU and only, like, two sticks of RAM up in my head. All oh, right, I forgot about the jizz lift. Oh, more of this, is it? <laughs> Get catapulted. <laughs> I thought this would be the end. I thought this would be the end of having to deal with that. But no. More circular saws. Not a lot of people know this, but um, the government of Hollow Nest was actually surprisingly in hoc to the um, Circular Saw Fitters Union. They were actually one of, the, one of the most prime political forces in the entire kingdom. People tend to forget this now in the modern day because all we have left to know they ever existed is the the endless chains of circular saws that they had installed throughout the kingdom as do nothing jobs, you know. Cause unions, they're very important and absolutely vital to maintain like your your like labour rights. Unfortunately, under rare circumstances they can become more about maintaining their own existence as like a political entity. I don't know, I feel like I backed myself into a corner here with my logic because I'm very pro-unions, but then also I made a joke about the, about imaginary circular saw fitting union corruption. Everybody can be corrupt. Corruption can happen to any human organization, up to and including unions. There we go. Oh hey, what do you know? The second I stopped talking, I could just do it. <laughs> it's also, I, I haven't mentioned this in a long time, but like two years ago when I was streaming a lot more frequently, I used to always say that like streaming Im just imposes like uh, a 30% skill debuff on gamer skill. Just like across the board. Like, not when you're not streaming, but like while you're streaming. I think it's just the split attention of having to like focus on saying words. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Wait, hang on, I can pogo. Ouch. The secret to pogoing is to not simply be struck by the object you're attempting to pogo off of. Does that actually help me? No, it doesn't. Does this help me? No, it doesn't. Maybe I can jump far enough underneath? I'm pretty sure I need to come up here, so... You ever have that moment of horror where you realise that you're now stuck in a completely untenable position? You have been standing on the dock and step into a boat and the boat slips away from you because your weight changes the buoyancy 
and so you become completely stuck between two positions, unable to move one way or the other because both will lead to disaster. Oh, I see they uh, I see they had an alliance with the sp the spiky thrusters union. Which is actually named after its founder, Spiky Thruster. Um No one knows why he was named that. It was redacted by the Hollow Nest Records office. Probably for the best. Oof. I think I timed it right. I could just ride this one up by doing pogos on it. Where did you think I would dash and pogo? Ah, I see. Many things in this world are ephemeral. The glory and beauty of Hello Nest. The memory of where I was going to dash in Pogo. I th I, do they need me to Pogo off of this moving object? Are you kidding me? Twice? <laughs> Don't like. I feel like I'm trying to play I Wanna Be The Guy again. There's a reason I don't play Sado Core platformers. Come on. I hope you're enjoying me torturing myself for your entertainment. Oh, hey, my GeForce game ready driver is available. That's good to know, I guess. Well, that was bearable. The real question is, can I figure out how to do this double pogo? Aha, I can pogo off of these pokey outy ones. That's good to know. Actually, I can just go straight from straight left after that point. Solving problems. Oh, hi. Welcome to the thing. First time chatter. Yeah, I mean, I can see union people putting up barricades. It is perhaps this is how the perhaps this is how the kingdom fell. The kingdom refused to accede to the demands of working people. And therefore the working people were like, it's literally, like, we're trained to do two things. Install spike traps and install moving circular source. <laughs> uh, is it wise uh, to not respond to our demands? Considering our industrial action might have something of a body count. Where am I even supposed to go with that one? Okay, I think I need to... Uh, let's see... If I can, if I can, if I can get up a, if I can get up above those, I can bounce off of them, I guess. Otherwise, oh, hang on, can I? No, I won't have time. Anyway, welcome to the channel. I hope you have fun. Feel free to give me a follow. I can't tell if it has any goddamn barricades. Oh, you're striking. Good for you. 
I've heard there's a lot of, like, UK strikes going on at the moment. Motherfucker, I'm dead again. Well, at least I know I can handle all of the ridiculous bullshit this kingdom throws at me. What I never really realised. Games like this teach me patience. Wait for exactly the right moment. Ouch. <laughs> or indeed the wrong moment. Fuck off. I mean, you reach a certain point where it doesn't really matter how ornate the wrought iron spikes that are entering your body are, you would just simply rather that they don't. I'm starting to lose all conception of the time of the time before before the Sadocore zone. I'm starting to lose all conception of what the world might have been like. I think there may have once been boss fights. I think there may have been opponents I had to fight. Doughty knights and wise sorcerers. And... Yes, I'm picturing some guy who threw turds at me. Aha! So I could just do that. I didn't have to go up here at all. Well, I think you can tell if things have souls in this setting simply by whether or not white stuff comes out when you stab them. And these things are immune to stabs, so... How the fuck do I get up this one? Come on! Maybe I can pogo up off of these ones. Well, that one net. to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm generally in favour of skipping work whenever you can get the chance. Unless you work for the NHS and I have an appointment, in which case, like, I fully support your right to strike, but also... It does inconvenience me personally, and that's the greatest crime any human being can commit. Ah, oh, the repeating... Repeating sound of spikes striking forwards. Well, how, do, how about the repeating sound of, of spikes entering my flesh painfully? If indeed I have flesh. I mean, I'm kind of a hollow... Well, I'm not a hollow knight. I am... I'm, but, you know, I'm a hollow... I'm a hollow... I'm a hollow little guy. A carapace in search of a musculature. Alright, I think if I can get on top of these spikes, I can get up onto the next pillar. Oh hell yeah, useless useless jobs so that you can take the day off whenever you want to is definitely praxis. Is it praxis? I don't know what that word means. Oh, fuck! Oh, it's a languidoon. Dude. 
this bit has gotten easier since I realized that I can I can wall jump back off the back side of a jumping puzzle I've already done to refresh my double jump. That definitely makes these easier. Ah, yes! <laughs> I have overcome your jumping puzzle. Please let there be a, a, a seat, a city downy. Please, I'm begging you. Why are the doors locked? I need I need a I need a bench. Not since the genteel Victorian park stroller has a human being. Well, I mean I'm not a human being, am I? I'm a robot, but uh, you know. Ouch. Oh, that's insane. You can't expect me to line that up. I'm not a pocket calculator. Okay, I think that looks alright. Fuck! <laughs> alright, last chance, and then it's back to the same goddamn bench again. <laughs> Why would they put one underneath? It's like they don't want me to beat their cool game. I gave this I gave this a minimum eight out of ten earlier. Every single time I have to repeat this particular zone again, I knock a I knock 0 0.1 points off the score of this game that came out like eight years ago. <laughs> Video essay entitled that one level that I that stressed me out so bad it gave me an asthma attack. Which is a convenient human metaphor for the common AI problem of when my vents get clogged by dust because I'm so upset. There we, well, there we go, I rescued it, I pulled it back, the metaphor's maintained. Ah, so you're not familiar with this game of- Ow, motherfucker, my broken controller. Ah. So you're not familiar with this game, that's interesting because uh, this is like, this is the secret final level that you have to do a whole bunch of bullshit to unlock. <laughs> uh, which leads to the secret real actual final boss of the game uh, after the other non, like, fully final final boss of the game, which I beat like two streams ago. But it is a very cute game. It has absolutely delightful visual style. It's, um... It's not going on my list of all-time faves for various reasons, uh, one of which is it's extremely slavish devotion to uh, Dark Souls and just replicating all of the thematic and conceptual beats from that game, which I think is a shame. Uh, well, down I go. But in terms of visual design, it's definitely definitely up there. It's one of it's one of the one of the extremely goodest. That was close. I think you should be able to walk on the si uh, sides of spikes, like in Sonic the Hedgehog. No. But yeah, um, I think I think I think any game that has spikes, unless it has sticky outy side spikes sticking out from the f motherfucker from the sides of the spikes. Um, I feel like you should be able to touch the sides of the spikes without getting spiked. It feels like, it feels really cheap. It feels like a letdown whenever you, whenever you can't touch the sides of the spikes. Like, it's not like, like they're spikes, you know? They're only pointy in one direction. That's like the one-dimensional nature of the of the simple spike is a very important aspect of its kind of symbolic existence. The mosquitoes? I I don't I straight up don't remember mosquitoes in this game apart from the guys with big spiky noses. Unless you mean, do you mean those? Alice, hello. 
You've arrived just in time to see me get extremely frustrated on the final level, the secret bonus final level. I beat two fairly difficult bonus bosses just to get here, and here I am losing my shit over this goddamn Sadocore design. There's a reason I never never completed I Wanna Be The Guy, although my little brother, who occasionally watches these streams, I think he- I believe he did complete I Wanna Be The Guy, and for that he will always be uh, the hardcorest gamer in my family. Like, unendingly and inescapably, like, no matter what I do, I, I can never have that beat, like, unless I actually sit down and complete I Wanna Be The Guy, which I will never be able to do. Catch me sounding like the knockout at the end of a Street Fighter match. Like, uh, 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 <laughs> oh no. That's what got me the last time. This is as far as I've gotten. I can't get past this one. I think that's a miss. I think I'm too low. It'd be nice if there was a way to back out of doing the Kamehameha jump. But well, that doesn't seem to be. If I line up directly on this line, does that work? Is that... Okay, that's a good guideline. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I'm good at games. I'm good at games. I've 100 percented so many video games in my life. I play Sekiro on hard for fun. I can do this. This is only a platformer. Where the fuck am I even supposed to go now? Hmm. I guess I'll try and get to the... to here. Oh nice, cool. As an artificial replication of a human being, uh, I am- I am- I am here for- for any- any increase in the artifice of the human appearance. Balls. You know what, Trokantazi? You're right, I do have good viewers. Like, I know you're ironically speaking about, like, the degree to which you're checked out, but, like, I actually really like my... my, uh, viewer base. Small as it may be. You guys are talkative, and you show up. And seem to enjoy my rambling about criticism and design when I ramble about criticism and design, and you also seem to enjoy sadistically watching me get my ass beat by Metroidvanias for babies. Ow. Scheiße. I've started saying shit in German lately and I don't know why. It's some kind of weird echolalia I've picked up from somewhere. Which is strange, because I don't know anyone who does that. My partner speaks German, but she doesn't swear in German. She doesn't swear at all, really. She says, like, fiddlesticks, which is adorable. <laughs> It's extremely cute, and I love it very much. I made it through this zone without taking a single hit four times in a row, and here I am on zero hit points. Woof. I might just- I might just die just to get my hit points back and then try it again. My mistake was rambling about how much I love my viewers. Which reminds me, actually, when I when I briefly mentioned the various places I can be found on the internet earlier, such as my YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays, I did not mention that I do have a Discord which I used for, like, log logistics, so people can keep track of when I'm streaming. Because I don't have a schedule at the moment because I have, like, four disabilities, by which I mean... Design flaws? I had a computer virus and it made me break. I don't know, I never really commit that hard to the whole I'm an AI on a space station thing. Alright, here we are again. I 
lining myself up with the thing worked. Am I hitting above or below? I think it's... <laughs> I do think it's a design flaw that the game doesn't give you any way to cancel out of a charged, like, long dash. I think that's a real shame. That would just be a quality of life feature that would be good to have. Because I, I know I, I know, like, a couple of those I know I lined them up wrong and there just wasn't anything I could do about it. This horrible situation of knowing that when you let go of the button you're doomed no matter what you do. God, I really need to get my controller replaced. The main reason I haven't is because I actually did buy a new controller a little while back and then it broke almost immediately and so now I'm like ideologically opposed to ever buying another another Power Ray Xbox controller. But in the time between I like me getting my extremely good Xbox One controller from the original Xbox One that I used for years and years and years and worked great. Oh fuck off. Um they stopped manufacturing them. You, if you want an Xbox controller, you either have to buy a licensed Power A um, Xbox One. Okay, this is getting more common. It's the the, the left. <laughs> my leftist bias has rubbed off on the 3D stick on my controller. Oh no! Uh, the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so like. What I've discovered is that, like, nobody manufactures original Xbox One controllers anymore. They were really good. They were very good controllers and they lasted a really long time. Um, but you can only get the uh, oh, an Xbox One X controller, which costs 50 goddamn Earth pounds. Um, which, as I understand it, is roughly equivalent to one galactic credit and therefore far too much money. Um... Or you can buy a licensed Xbox One, not Xbox One X controller for like 25 to 30. But they're manufactured by 1A, or Power A rather, and it's just not good. They're really bad quality. They're lightweight and flimsy. So like, I don't do hardware reviews. I do in-depth criticism of artistic projects. Um, but like, the Power A controllers, they... They suck. They suck pretty bad. I literally got two because they. I bought one and it broke and I was like, okay. And then I got another one and it broke in a different way. So I'm in this limbo where I either have to save up and then commit to getting um, one of the Xbox One X controllers, which I don't like because they don't have a proper D-pad. And also I have no idea what their quality is like having been on the uh, Xbox One controller kick for the last, like, ten years. Or find some kind of other solution. Perhaps I should get a Steam controller. I understand people used to like those, although I don't really see the appeal. I've, I've heard people use um, PlayStation controllers on the PC as well, but I don't, I don't like their form factor so much. I like a big chunky controller that I can control chunkily. I think I'm a bit low. Right, so that line is directly on my head and it slammed me into the circular saw. So if I go a little bit... <sighs> okay, if I line up my eyes with it, let's see. That works. Okay, I've got to remember that. Line up my eyes. With the thingamajig. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it never ends. This is my punishment for computer crimes. I'm stuck in the computer afterlife. Interesting, you can't dodge through those even if you have the iframes dodge, which I definitely have. I can't figure out the timing on this one. 
every time I think it can't possibly get any worse, this has to be the end of this platforming zone, it throws another complication at me. I could probably go back to the Crystal Peak now and be like, oh, this is fine, actually. This game was fun before it got filled with terrible rhetoric about how games should be challenging. I say as a someone who genuinely thinks games should be challenging. Although, I have talked about this in previous games, I think that games should be challenging, but that challenging is a hugely different and hugely subjective thing. So I think that games should be designed to be challenging and then have just an absolute wealth of difficulty options to toggle on or off in order to suit the needs of a given player. Like, I think Dark Souls needs to be difficult, it needs to be a challenge, and if it's not a challenge, that is fundamentally uh, damaging to the themes of the game and the themes of the work of art that it is. However, my challenging is not someone else's challenging. You know? There are people who are better at games than me, and there are a lot of people who are worse. No offence to anyone who's worse at games than me. There are more than a few of them. But I do think, like, I straight up believe, like, it's just a, it's just an accessibility option. Like, it should be possible to make it difficult enough that it's the right level of challenge, that the challenge is present but not insurmountable. That's too low. A bench. A bench. My kingdom for a bench. As said, the imaginary Victorian man walking through a park that I mentioned earlier. Now how the fuck do I get through this? Like, I can make it this far, but I straight up can't figure out how I'm supposed to get through this space. I can't run fast enough, but I also can't dodge through. Like, I genuinely can't figure out how to get past this bit. Like, I'm for reals, like... Like, presumably it's just a skill issue, like, it's just timing, right? Like, I just need to get the timing right, but... I literally can't move fast enough to get between them before they slam back down again? Even if I use the dodge. manage it in a couple more tries I'm gonna call it a night I think because I'm hitting two hours which is my self-imposed streaming limit whoopsie fucking Jesus <laughs> for once getting stabbed in midair actually helped beat this zone, right, Wuxriv? Or was that Trokondazi? Someone beat this zone. What am I doing wrong? I suppose I could equip the fast, like, the sprinting ability. 
The sprinting pin that lets me sprint. I think I'm a touch low. No, I'm alright. This is honestly tougher than any of the boss battles I've seen in this game so far. Makes me wonder what the final boss at the end of this zone is actually going to be like. Pushover, I hope. I don't even if if I don't even make it there again I'm calling it a night <laughs> even though it's technically a vessel Okay, so I need to figure out exactly how to space my movement so that I can dash between those spikes. And I have to time it because my dash can't... Oh, motherfucker. Okay, I'm out, Ski. I'm donezo with this for tonight. Jesus fucking Christ. Good Lord almighty. I'm going to sit here on my bench and think about what I've done, by which I mean maybe change some of these. Um, I don't need the wayward compass because I can't see where I am here anyway. I don't know if the Carefree Melody blocks damage from environmental challenges. Otherwise, it might be a good idea. I bet it doesn't. Because they they don't... Like... Like, they just teleport me back to land, so... I'm not actually sure which of these would be useful. Sprint Master, I guess, maybe. I think about Sprint Master is that if I go switch to that now, it would mess up my uh, muscle memory, so that's... Less than ideal. Extra hit points would be good. Hmm. Maybe I'll just... No, I don't think any of these help, actually. I can't even remember what I untagged. Ugh, actually, the lifeblood heart. That one actually is going to be helpful. Hmm. Nail range is actually really useful for hitting the pogos. I'll take off steady body. There's no combat here, anyway. I'm probably going to be allowed to change these again back when I get to the other side. Anyway, so, yes. I can't remember. I was saying something. Oh, yeah. If I have to make dashes, I think... No, wait. I'm misremembering something. Don't worry about what I was going to say. That's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.